Hello everyone, in this video I want to address one request I recently got uh, from different users. Uh, they would like to collect some cross-section data for some parts along one given direction. So first I created a demo model, a twisted beam. Uh, in Hypermesh I used uh, morph volumes in order to, to get it. Um, this beam is along the z-axis and I will ask for different cross-section for different values of uh, that axis. So here I'm between 0 and 50. And I will basically ask for every uh, multiplier of 6. So 6 is equal to 6, 12, uh, 18, 24, etc, etc. So let me first run the macro to see the, the outputs and then I will spend a few moments on the macro itself. So let me go to File, Load Script, Um, macros hyper mesh. Uh, let me pick this one. I will select all my elements, validate, and at the end, I got from every position of set, I got information about the rectangular section, which will be a specific case here, the area of the section, and the perimeter. Um, you see that there are some lines appearing here at the different sections, these are the sketch. So let's have a look now at the macro. First step is to create, uh, for getting this macro to run, I need to create a couple of entities, starting with a component, which will get, uh, which will contain the surfaces created from the sketch. Um, and the system collector, because this is something that will be required uh, for getting the, um, for being able to compute the rectangular cross-section information, whatever the orientation of the, of the section. So first step is to create the section cuts, uh, star create mark panel to select the elements, and then I use beam section create from section cut on the elements. Um, and with, and I can in a single command define all my different plane base, plane base one, plane base two, plane base three, and in the plane normal I repeat the plane normal as much time, even if it is the same for each plane base. I need to repeat uh, to repeat I need to have the same number, mm -hmm. the same dimension. Let's say in plane normal that in plane base. And then I start to loop over the beam section. And if I go back to uh, Hypermesh, you will see that going to beam section, every beam section is related to a sketch. And from beam section, we can get some um, information of interest, especially a theta angle, which is the angle for the principal direction. Uh, this was in, is important uh, for the regular section computation. Again, if you're not aligned with the uh, global axis. From the, um, the sketch, I will also create a surface with this start set value sketch realize mode 2. And once I have this surface, uh, I get its ID and I can compute its area. And I can compute its uh, perimeter based on the different edges uh, from the surface. Last, if I want to proceed to rectangular section computation, so this will be a section you need to comment if you're not dealing with rectangular section. I'm creating a local system which is aligned with uh, the section. And then I'm evaluating the bondings of um, the rectangular section inside this system with the command HM get bonding box. This returned me X men, Y men, Z min, X max, Y max, Z max uh, for this bonding box. So Z min and Z max will be to zero. So I can just compute X length by uh, subtracting X men and X max and Y length by subtracting Y min and Y max. Then I can, what I decided for this macro was to output the information directly uh, into the TCL window uh, as it is done there. And backslash N is for getting back to the new line. And finally, I'm deleting all components and system collector uh, that was used for the macro. 
Thanks for reviewing. Hope this helps.